All right, deal some chenya vu, get your lea, nipo David Alvarez there. Hello everyone, my name is David Alvarez. Um, I'm glad to be here, honored to be here. Thank you, Ruben and Anthony, for inviting me today. Uh, I'd just like to uh, start off um, kind of explaining what this what this picture is here, this painting. Uh, this is a project I did for my thesis um, at Fresno State. Um, and so I'd like to get a little audience participation. Can anybody raise your hand, tell me what's wrong with this picture? Just off the of first first glance, what's wrong with the picture? It's upside down? Mm -hmm. Is it upside down? Yeah. No? Yeah. You know why yeah. it's upside down? No. Why? It's a statement, right? <clears throat> so when there's a flag that's upside down, it shows that there's that there's a distress, right? There's a sign of a distress, SOS, we need help. So you can see here that in the blue, they're not stars, they're crosses. You see that the red stripes, they're not they're not stripes, they're braids, right? So this is an indication of the boarding schools here. Um, and talking about the boarding schools, you see the quote here, kill the Indian, save the man. You know, that was a big, that was a big, um, a big discussion, right? That, that it was a big, big saying that really led the movement of the American Indian boarding schools. And so what I'm here today to talk about is that, you know, a lot of times we may not understand what's going on with people's lives. A lot of times we may see these students, um, you know, as educators and also as, as peers, uh, some of our students may not be engaged in the, in the curriculum. They may not be engaged in the classroom, right? Um, but we don't know what's going on at home. You know, we have, uh, we talked earlier today about uh, interge intergenerational trauma. And so a lot of these students come from homes that, um, that downplay or, or don't see education as something that's, that, uh, that's valuable um, to Native people. And so having that perspective and having that understanding is really important as educators and as students and as peers um, <clears throat> to, made it, to motivate each other, right? To challenge each other, um, to learn about these histories, to talk about these histories um, in any way possible. Um, you know, and there's, you could be as creative as possible as you want to. Um, you know, I think the most important thing is just to talk about it, to start that conversation. We did that here today. Uh, and I think that that's a huge accomplishment for Fresno High. Um, bringing this conversation to the campus and to the students um, because a lot of times our students don't hear this history. Our students don't, don't get to hear the voices of the, of the survivors um, and I speak for myself and a lot of the other people that are here with us today. Uh, we are, we are uh, descendants of survivors, right? Um, my grandfather was, was in a boarding school, um, you know, that affected my father and it passed it down to me. Um, even though, you know, I've, I decided to, to gain my education, I did it as kind of like a... Um, I won't use that analogy, but um, <clears throat> as kind of saying, you know, uh, thank you, but no thank you. Um, and I take my education in a different way. Um, and I use it to educate people about Native history, uh, about the boarding schools, right? And so when we talk about these boarding schools, what was some of the knowledge that we talked about? And today we have in our curriculums standardized testing and things like that, right? It's the same thing that they did in the boarding school, right? They wanted everybody to be the same, right? They wanted everybody to, to learn English, follow, follow Christianity, um, and, and get a job that pays, right? And that's what we do today in, in our schools, right? Um, a lot of times we don't encourage our students to, um, to think about things outside of the box. Right? We tell them, you need to get an education, you need to get to, to college, you need to get higher education. Yes, those things are important. But we also have to understand that not all of our students are, are geared for that. Not all of our students are um, in a place to understand that, right? And if, those, if, if that's something that you recognize as a student in the audience today, and that's okay. I was one of those students too. I started college heck late. Um, but The important thing to know is that we're still here. This history is still here. Um, we're still repeating this history in, within our curriculums today. Um, locally, uh, statewide, nationally, these curriculums are still there. Uh, these racist curriculums that talk about or, or don't talk about uh, Native people within our curriculums. Um, and so to me, that's how I see the boarding school. That's still, that's still an ongoing uh, new face of boarding schools within within our nation today. Um,
So I thank you all for listening. Um, and again, if, if you guys have questions or comments um, or want to you know, elaborate on the conversation, I'm always open to conversation and dialogue. Um, and again, I thank Fresno High for allowing us to be here and, and opening up the doors for us to come here to talk today. Uh, I think it's really important. Oh.